are. It's Tuesday, October 9th at 4 p.m. and we're just firing up the 135 Hinos that I'm going to be uh, selling from this boat. This is a 1989 Bay Liner. The engines have approximately 2,000 hours. Uh, there has been an hour meter change, but you can tell by the way they run how things are. Uh, we're going to be starting them here shortly from cold. Uh, so go ahead, Tom, the left key. Can you start it? There's no heat or anything there, just turn the key and away they go. That's the way these engines start. That's the port engine, the starter. So it's going to show a front view. Here's the engine from the front. You see these engines are equipped with 130 amp Delco alternators. on the flybridge we just pulled away from the dock you can see we're running the engines at idle at 672 uh, rpm on one side and 654 whatever on the other uh, oil pressure port side 54 psi starboard 58 we'll just wait for a minute the engines you can see are still cool 95 and 100 degrees Okay, it's 12 minutes after 4. We're still running at 1100 RPM. Uh, oil pressure 57 on port, 57 on starboard. Uh, battery voltage is still 14.2 and 13.8. Uh, there is some AC equipment running downstairs, so I'll go turn that off so we can see more what that uh, starboard alternator is putting out. Okay, we're just a couple minutes away from the dock now, up at 1100 RPM approximately. We've got 62 to 63 PSI oil pressure, 113 temp on port engine, 110, 111 on starboard, 58 PSI. Uh, you can see the charge voltages, that's 14.1 on the house battery side and 14.19 on the start battery. Looking at the analog gauges downstairs, you can see we're just under 1100 RPM on the engines. The uh, oil pressure above 50 pounds on both gauges. Temperature isn't quite at 150 degrees yet. Here we are down at the cockpit. Uh, we're still running 1100 RPM. It's almost quarter past four. Tinos really do run very well. Do notice there is no smoke. I forgot to show that when I started. There's no smoke in the exhaust other than a puff of black at the start. Looking now at the starboard engine. Turbos engage at 2,000 RPM.
2,000 RPM. You can hear the engine just running away just fine. Time is 419. You can tell by the sound they're pretty well synced. Coming up on 4.30, we've been running at 2100 RPM for the last while and our engine temperatures are somewhere between 171 and 175, which is the temperature cutting in and out. I mean the thermostat. Okay, we are currently at 20 p.m. See the engines are running at 170, 172. Oil pressure is right around the 60, 62 mark. And now we're going to go for wide open throttle. So we want to pay close attention here to the and the props are barnacled right now. Uh, normal full throttle is around um, 2,900 RPM. So we'll just see here, we'll run for a few minutes and watch the temperature. See the prop wash there, the engines are working pretty good. Note the temperatures are still right at 176. There are 175 degree thermostats, so apparently they're working. Just coming up on three minutes, wide open.
up a gasket so it's all in tow. As you can see, the cooling system is quite robust on these engines. So it's just after 5 o'clock and we're coming back to the dock here and you can see the engines are somewhere between 165 and 70 degrees. Um, they've been running at idle for the last few minutes while we've been coming in. So we had a nice afternoon out on the boat. One issue with Hino 4 cylinders is the drive plate rattle. You can hear it rattling now. That's at about 700 RPM, we'll speed up to 1,000 and that'll blow away. Okay, I'm doing 